In my last video, I made a mistake and I'm sorry. Unlike the Democrats, I'll own up to my mistakes. I've seen a lot of reports and a lot of viewers have commented that the second Trump shooter did not use an AK-47. He actually used an SKS rifle with a synthetic stock. To be fair, this grainy photograph that was printed off by an 80s printer that they gave to the Associated Press was really hard to make out any kind of details on the rifle. I am glad that viewers pointed out that this is an SKS, so I didn't go out and buy an AK-47 for a field test. In the first Trump assassination attempt, I went out and purchased an EOTech scope, which was reportedly the scope that he used. Fun fact, this scope costs more than the gun. Please subscribe so I can feed my family. So the SKS actually predates the AK-47. It was manufactured by the Soviets prior to the AK-47, early 1940s, I believe. It is still a semi-automatic rifle and it still uses the same ammunition in most part as the AK-47. Back in the 70s and 80s, before the Clinton assault rifle ban, you could pick one of these up for 70 bucks. Sporterized rifles like this SKS with a bunch of synthetic polymer parts are made in China. But this rifle can still accept a 30 round magazine, making it a high capacity mid range rifle, which is more accurate than the AK 47. With a scope and updated trigger, maybe a few slight modifications, it could be on par with an AR 15. Last video, I called these bullets. God forbid I don't call them rounds or cartridges. I try to use layman's terms for any non-gun expert that happens to be watching the channel. I also use the term assault rifle. I know the left has a war on high capacity mid-range rifles and they've dubbed them assault rifles. From now on, I'll call them boom boom murder kill sticks. <laughs> the sad thing is we can't wait for the facts to come out. We have to do our own independent research. We're told by the police that this was an AK-47 type rifle given a grainy photo, and then we have to go and do the detective work. Same with Crooks. We didn't get any pictures of the rifle. It was an AR type rifle, and that's all we knew. But when they delay the release of details, it creates conspiracy theories. With the first assassination attempt, it took them so long to give us anything about it that theories flew everywhere from a second shooter in the water tower to an inside job. Rumors, speculations, theories were flying all around. So I am truly sorry if I was a source of any kind of misinformation. That is not my intent on this channel whatsoever. Having said that, I would love to test out an SKS. I think I fired one years ago. My dad might have owned one. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see a field test of an SKS versus an AR-15 versus an AK-47. At the end of the day, an SKS doesn't look as scary as a spooky, scary, boomy, boomy murder kill stick assault weapon, but it has the same capacity, if not more accurate than the AK-47. Please consider liking and subscribing and let me know if you want to field test. I'm CV and I'll see you in the next video.